So in this one, we're just going to add the staircase to the ground floor. So let's get started. So the first thing I'd like to do is just move these elements from their current layer, which is the first floor plan. And I'm going to create a new layer over here called first floor. Okay, press enter. What I'm going to do is press one and I'm going to press Z for wireframe. I'm actually going to switch off all the layers except for first floor plan. Press A to deselect. I'm going to press B and just box select above the layout plan we have on the ground. If I come around here, I don't want to select any of that. So with these walls selected, I'm going to come over to the first floor and just move selected objects. Okay, I can press Z now and come back here. Well, I'm left with window sections that I can't select anyway. Okay, so if I turn on my first floor plan, I have all of these objects on this layer. Okay, so that's going to be that's going to be fine. Actually, I'm going to select these guys here, the portals, and I'm going to move these to the first floor windows. So that's where they should be. And the empties for these should be on first floor windows also. All right, so that's pretty good. So what I'm going to do now is switch back on the ground floor plan and just switch off first floor. And actually, while I'm here, I might as well select these two portals and move these to the ground floor windows. Okay, now I can press seven and I'm just going to zoom in here. I'm going to select this object here, tab into edit mode and press A once or twice. Shift S, cursor to select it. Okay, so that's just going to be my insertion point for my staircase. So I'm just going to tab back to object mode. I'm going to come up to create. And on the Archie pack add-on, I'm just going to select stairs. You can choose from a whole host of different staircases. But actually the one that this house was designed for was this first one. There's some nice ones here. If I select this one here, for example, that is a very nice looking stairs. And I could have incorporated it if I had to make that decision earlier on. But unfortunately, it's not going to fit into this house. So I'm just going to press delete, delete that. Okay, so again, if I select stairs, I'm just going to go with the, or the ordinary wood over concrete. Okay, so bring that in there, come around here. It's a little bit too wide at 1.5. I had it actually marked in for about one meter. So I'm going to reduce this to one there or thereabouts you could increase a little bit more there is space down here for a little bit wider but i think i'm going to be happy with one meter for the moment and the next thing to do then is i'm going to knock off the internal railing so if i come down here i can just switch off the the right side handrail the right side post and the right side panels and you can actually make adjustments to this side depending on the style that you want so maybe panels kind of might work a little bit better there Okay, you can mess around with that. The other thing I want to do is come over to the layers, switch on the first floor plan because I need to get the, the height. I want to make sure this is coming in okay. It's actually, yeah, that's pretty much okay. That's coming into my first floor height perfectly. Okay, so it's 2.7 and that's going to do, that's the room height to the first floor. Okay, perfect. So that's pretty good and I'd be happy with that. Okay, I can turn on my first floor. Yeah, and that's coming into correct position there. And there should be plenty of head height. If I press control tree, uh, the head height here should be, I think it's 1.2 meters. And that's perfect. Or that should be close enough at the moment anyway. Okay, I'd be happy enough with that. I'm just going to switch off the first floor for a second. And the stairs is currently on the, the ground floor plan. I'm just going to move this to the ground floor. And I might just switch back on these two but otherwise i think that's going to do it for this one